Why do we drill directional wells? The directional drilling, whereby a well is precisely guided through a particular target, is a fascinating one. This video will describe about applications of directional drilling in oil and gas industry. Why do we drill directional wells? It is a fact that, it is always more expensive to drill a deviated well to a target, not directly below the rig location, as opposed to simply drilling down vertically to the target. However, there are good reasons why a directional well might be used. In some circumstances, it can actually lower the total cost of the project. Some potential reasons are Multiple exploration wells from a single well bore Single surface location for multiple wells Salt dome drilling Onshore drilling to an offshore reservoir Side track Optimum orientation in the reservoir and or increase reservoir contact and relief wells. Multiple exploration wells from a single well bore. It is possible to drill a well to evaluate it, and then cement it back up. This well may then be deviated from its original path to an additional target. This may be done in order to evaluate multiple compartments in a single reservoir, if it is naturally split into several sections, or to extend the knowledge of the structure using a single well. Single surface location for multiple wells. The effective draining of reservoirs needs wells located across multiple parts of the reservoir. If possible, these wells should align towards a single surface location, so that all necessary production facilities may be located there. This is usually cheaper than connecting multiple wells from various surface locations. Production staff are centralized, which lowers running costs, and the rig only requires a single location. This is how drilling from an offshore platform works. A single platform could potentially connect to over 30 wells, that spread out beneath it, which unite at the platform. Salt Dome Drilling Some salt domes create additional structures that capture hydrocarbons. For this case, it is often easier to drill around the salt dome instead of straight through it to reach a reservoir. Onshore drilling to an offshore reservoir. It is more economically viable to reach an offshore target from onshore, rather than build an offshore platform. Which farm oil field, located on the south coast of England, is one such example, and is in fact the largest onshore oil field in Western Europe, even though a reservoir is located offshore. This area is environmentally sensitive, so operations were made economically possible by drilling from the land under the sea. Extended reach wells, which extend horizontally over twice their depth, allowed for this. Side track the well. It might be necessary sometimes to cement a well back to a shallower depth, and for a new well bore to be drilled away from this original bore. This could be due to drilling problems, such as stuck pipe, or because an old producing well is to be sidetracked to a new location. Optimum orientation in the reservoir and or increase reservoir contact. Unfortunately, reservoirs are not neat and tidy. Some directions will be more permeable than others. If a reservoir is in fractured limestone, then the well should aim to intercept as many of these fractures as possible to maximize production. Such factors determine the direction that the well should be drilled into the reservoir. Some wells may require very complicated well paths, in order to achieve their prime position. Drilling directional also increases reservoir contact therefore it will increase production. For example, shale formation will not be economic to produce with a vertical drilling technique. It is required horizontal drilling into a shale zone, so when the well is fractured, the oil production will be enough to keep the oil company in the business. Relief Wells In the worst possible scenario, a well is drilled as a relief well. This might be because, for instance, a well has suffered a blowout and is releasing hydrocarbons into the surrounding environment, but the well cannot be killed from the surface. The relief well is then drilled to intercept the blowing well, and dense mud is forced into the blowing well to kill it from below. One example of this was the Deepwater Horizon blowout in the Gulf of Mexico in April 2010. Thanks for watching our video. If you like our video, 
Please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook fan page.